Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Edge Master Gaming, where today, Project Lazarus just introduced the newest weapon to the roster, the German Battle Rifle G3A3. As always, Logitech also made some improvements to the look and feel of the game by adding new model updates for a few weapons and some bugs along the way. He even did a new map update. No, he didn't add a new map yet, it was just a minor modification to an existing one. Either way, you guys know what to do if you wind up enjoying this video, if you would be so kind as to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel. And for a full description of the updates to Project Lazarus, please check the Discord. The link is in the description box below as well as other links that support me, like my own Discord, Twitch, and Twitter. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get started. The new G3A3 is a German battle rifle that's been added to the mystery box. Right out of the box, this gun is a semi-automatic that holds 20 in the magazine and has 180 in reserves. It doesn't hinder your movement speed, it's great when aiming down sights, and has little to no recoil. I was pleasantly surprised as I found out that the unpacked version of this gun can one shot up to round 22. And you guys know what else? I also really like the sound when firing this gun as it has a nice crisp pop. And here's a demonstration of what I mean. Moving on to the packed version of this gun, the Great Dane. While it doesn't have any additional ammo in the magazine, it does have 380 in reserves. It carries the Sighthound module that deals 160% damage while aiming down sights, or it fires fully automatic from the hip. Here's a demo of the gun when aiming down sights. If you notice, the word Sighthound will appear at the bottom to indicate the 160% damage boost. When firing in this mode, this gun can one shot up to round 33. Now here's a demo of the gun when it's fully automatic using hip fire. Overall, this mix of being both fully automatic and semi-auto is a cool concept. Just make sure you're using hipfire for situations like insta-kill only. Also, this module kind of reminds me of the 50 kill upgrade module for the M16. If you're new to Project Lazarus, the M16A4 has a 3 round burst until you kill 50 zombies at which time it becomes fully automatic, hence why it's called the 50 kill upgrade module. Let me know what you guys think of the new gun down below. The next update on the list that I want to cover is for the FAMAE SAF. There was a visual bug where the upgraded weapon was incorrectly displaying the wrong damage increase value from the module. So you may have noticed that the gun after being packed shows 180% damage while aiming down sights. At the bottom of the screen it will flash intermittently along with the words false pretense which is a reference to its module. However, the damage for the gun originally showed 150% like you see here. Next in line for this update, both the DP27 and the M249 received major model updates which I'll display here. Here's the original DP27, and here's the updated one. Here's the original M249, and here's the newest one. I think that the new model for the M249 turned out really good. The second to the last update on the list is the mystery box received bad luck protection. Now what this means is, new randomness logic was implemented to prevent both you and I from getting the same recent weapons over and over again. On my second game, I was able to get both the frostbite and raygun three times each out of almost 100,000 points. So what this means is, I guess the new logic helps you cycle through more guns faster. But keep in mind, this was only noted from one game so please take anything I say with a grain of salt. And the last update that I want to cover is a minor one and that's on the graduation map, as the power room chain fence no longer uses decals. So I took a look at the older video and I have to say that I can't really see a difference between the before and after. Let me know what you guys think here.
Well guys, that's gonna do it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, make sure you join the Project Lazarus Discord to check out the complete list of changes in this update. And as always guys, remember to have fun, take care, and God bless.